Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you're on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. But we don't worry, but we be happy and we huddle, guys. Short TA update on a beautiful Tuesday morning, uh, the 14th of September. Let's quickly jump into the charts while I zip a little bit of my coffee. Hmm. Again, good morning, and let's go. Bam. Well Over here guys we will check the charts uh, and I have one really amazing chart at the end but just watch the whole video like you used there's always some special information <laughs> what do you think about those beautiful uh, candles yesterday the pump and the dump people are telling me oh this is all because of the Litecoin news and, and Walmart I have never seen because of a news item the Bitcoin price pumping and dumping like that hard and um, I don't know if it is a news item guys so for me maybe it's more like are we testing how much capital we need to pump Bitcoin up to those next huge levels <clears throat> that is what I think I don't think it has anything to do with the news item but yeah who am I um, guys um, if we look at the BAM BAM indicator then we would be in the long from that moment the candle closed above the yellow stepping line um, at that moment there was a green like you can see over here and you can see the green line on top and the orange in the middle the, and the red on the bottom and yes on the bottom yes we see that the bam bam indicator i need to do it like this already crossed a little bit earlier so that was an indication uh, that's like a triple or, or even four confirmations of taking that long and that long we would still be in or you would have exited here at the short flag, then you have 1.2%, or you would still be in it, 2.4% with a leverage that would be much higher. Why would you still be in it? Because you saw there is a shitload of green when that short flag appeared. So the moment you see a short flag in the Bam Bam indicator here, but you see that we are above the yellow stepping line and there is a lot of green, we are not shorting. We will stay in the trade. Okay, um, let's quickly jump into the next chart. Enough bam, 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 bam. This one over here, bam, <laughs> one more bam. Um, this is the day chart, guys. Every candle is a day. And on the day chart, we can see that we will see a golden cross today or tomorrow. Um, is a golden cross important yes and no in my opinion um, yes because um, mostly it is a bullish movement after the goal and cross as well um, no because it's mostly lagging behind you can see we already grew from here to there it's a 77 percent and now we see the golden cross that's lagging behind um, the same here at the death cross uh, from here we already fell down to this level <clears throat> we fell already down from this level to that level 50% <clears throat> before the death cross appears so they are lagging behind but if we look back in uh, the past and these are the MAs not the exponential moving average but the MAs it has also proven that every time when we saw the golden cross um, it was lagging behind because you can see over here we already grew from here to that amount 150 percent then the golden cross appeared uh, and when the golden cross appeared we just still went up with a few hundred percent all the way up to 60k so that's why i say yes and no you know um, here the bearish cross you can see yes we are going down uh, golden cross we already went up there was a fake out so we went even more down so it's it's in average the golden cross is very positive like you can see over here the golden cross we went up as well uh, but it is also lagging behind a little bit but again for me bullish as we are here down here at the 44 level we can go up to the 60 level even above it again to the 90 level so i'm waiting for this golden cross to play out bullish okay that's enough of that one let's jump into <clears throat> The next chart, no, first this, bam. If you want to trade the bam bam indicator and all those signals and that indications that they are given, please use the link to sign up to the exchanges down below our videos. You can get a Femix $1,200 bonus, a Prime XBT $50% bonus, a Bybit $3,650. <coughs> 
still coughing. Bonus, uh, yes, and Binance, of course, no bonus, but still, it's a good exchange to do your spot trades. Hmm. Um, you can also sign up to the Oryx platform down below the videos. You see the link and the Machina Trader platform. Really cool platforms to um, get your trades on. Guys, bam, next chart. Very important chart. This is the daily chart on the BLX. I have been calculating this last huge run in the Elliott waves and it should be the one, two, three, four, fifth wave. And that fifth wave should take us above the 100k. Now, to be completely clear, there are also people that are not believing in this um, fifth wave. This is the fifth wave, but some people are saying we are not in the fifth wave, Didi, but we are now over here. Which means that would be the bear trap which means that we would be now in a correction from a b and now we would go correct even lower to whatever level they think like 16,000 c this could be in my opinion we are on the fifth wave of the elliot wave now and why do people think that that could be because if you look at this move over here we had a top, we had a pullback, and then we came up again before we pulled back completely. So they are saying now, this was a top, this is the pullback, we are coming up again, and now we will completely pull back down. That is what they are saying. But if you look to me, if, if you look at the top at this point, this was a very spiky top. You see these green candles, Brrr, they are going up like bam, 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 bam. This is not that kind of a top. This with one, two, three, four, like small spikes and then a pullback looks to me like this. One, two, three, four, bam, pullback. This is almost an exact copy of this, if you look to me. That would mean that we would get now a huge run to this, again a pullback and then not a huge run so that would mean that you get a little pullback huge run to that another pullback and then bam that is a blow off top and then fall down so just my opinion on uh, um, on these charts guys I'm, I'm i'm not saying that i can predict the future but i'm just analyzing the charts and if i analyze the charts i don't think this is a blow off top this is just a top like that one in over there and that was again also in the period from june all the way till july and then we got another one from september so yes we are now in september so let's see and um, do we have another chart yes bam this one um why could it be the top and now the pullback because the gaussian channel is showing us that uh, it is bearish because we didn't break above that gaussian channel you know we've been watching that one and we should be breaking that line we didn't we are pulling back we could pull back to the midline at 38,000 us dollar uh, and that is why people think that it could be the bear like bearish time now because we have never seen during a bull run that we entered the gaussian channel and we go, went out again. Look, this is the 2017 bull run. When we came out of the Gaussian channel, we never went in it anymore till the moment we went bearish. Here. If you look at the other runs, here, this is the 2013 and 14 run, we never came into the Gaussian channel till we went bearish. Bam. So we have never gone into that channel during a bull run and that is an indication why people might say no we are now at this area dd and we are going down we are at that area dd and we are going down that is what people are thinking but just analyzing what is on the charts so you can make your own decision where you think we are again for me it's a four-year cycle and that is exactly what i will show you in the next charts that are bam these charts I think many of you already saw this chart. I really like it. Directional route curated that one. Um, in this chart, you can see the Bitcoin spiral based on the four years. And this spiral has almost moved in a perfect way um, around these lines. And if we would now 
keep moving like we have always been moving by Bitcoin, then there would be a touch somewhere of this 100k level here, and then we will go with this line again. The line is getting thicker and thicker, Didi. That is how Bitcoin should be moving here in this area. And then we would keep moving around that line. Why is the line that thick? And that line is the 100k line. And we could keep moving around that line for four year, years. And then slowly, slowly go to the next line. Slowly go to the next line. And that next line would end here at 1 million. And that is why people believe in 2025 you would reach a million. Really cool chart, but for now, the short term, we should be following that line and up, get at top. Something like that, guys. Beautiful chart. And that is also what, bam, this chart is showing you. This chart is showing you the same. If we would find support on um, the support line that has been formed because of the touch points in the now previous uh, months, then that red line would be the pr price floor, and that would mean that we would be keep moving like over here. We would keep moving like around that line, around that line, but there will be a moment that we take some distance from the line, just like we did over there, just like we did over there, just like we did over there. And that would mean that we get to between 200 and 300 percent the price we are now at, which would be 150k. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed all these charts. Bam! Uh, because that was everything I had to share for you today. Don't worry, be happy. Every little thing is gonna be all right when it comes to Bitcoin. Just buy, hodl, dollar cost average, just trade if you like to trade, use the BAM BAM or any other indicator to help you with trading, but start to accumulate more Bitcoins every day because at the end, that will be very positive, I think, in the next three, four years, if you are able to hold them. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment, as I love to read and respond to your comments. Thanks, and again, see you tomorrow morning for another cool video. For the VIPs, yes, there will be a second video today, and a second video, I will give you the first preview of the updated Bam Bam indicator and new indicator, Bitcoin family, be happy. Really cool. Guys, uh, see you later.